when you first time you see Bond, he's a skull sitting in a black space. It's so cool. To me, anyway, it, it just, it was the best example of how to take a tired old icon and bring it back to life again. And Daniel Craig was just a phenomenal choice. And I don't know if you know the series of books, but in Honor Majesty's Secret Service, a similar beat happens where Bond actually becomes vulnerable enough that he marries somebody. And then, you know, you know something terrible is going to happen and it leaves him distraught. You rarely get to see that in a character in a long-running series. Mm. He basically doesn't change. The world around him changes. He stays the same. So you only get those two books where Bond ever had any kind of real emotional arc to him. So how fantastic to see it finally brought to the screen like that. Whatever is different is what your eye goes to most. So what they did is they contrasted a really static scene with violent action, right? And so your, your eye never gets tired. You keep cutting back and forth between the two, and they just enhance and make better the other. And then it has that nice little sting just before the, the title, which I thought those titles were amazing too. I was bereft that we stopped before they <laughs> began. And it was a good song for a change as well, you know? The Bond songs go up and down, but that was a, that was a darn good one.